Erica Cap from Paper, Pens, and Coffee, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and keep subscribing. And if you've already subscribed, let your friends, family, and your neighbors know. Remember, my goal in the month of April of 2024 is 500. I've been doing this since 2021. I just want 500. Then we'll go from there. In today's video, I'm going to show you an update flip through of Emma. If you don't know who Emma is, I will put a little card marker right here and you can go watch the original one if you so desire. Without further ado, this is Emma and I'm using it primarily to keep track of what I'm doing for two of the shops that I am brand ambassadors for. Also, I need a little dopamine sometimes. And the dopamine that makes me happy is looking at pretty stickers and papers, maybe some art I have designed, maybe a card that someone has sent me in the mail. And why not just group it all together so when you kind of feel one of those moments like, oh, do I eat a pint of ice cream or do I just look at pretty stuff? So I can just feel a little happier at that moment. I vote for looking at papers because there's no calories in looking in papers. So this is Emma. She is a personal rings from Moterm in mustard yellow. And here we go. So I, um, I'm not going to go with the ins and outs in describing the, um, the guts of Emma due to the fact that's what the other video is about. But I will do what all the other people do and say, this is where I got it from. Now, a lot of these things are not freebies due to the fact that I bought the printables and I then used my Procreate program to create the, the things that I wanted, I, I have in here. If you want to know how to do that, I'll link the video I just made using LA Florals to make a page on Procreate. These are from Doodle Witch. Yes, Doodle Witch. Um, I bought this one from her and then she sent me on that one because my birthday's in October and I love it. This is an ampersand that I got a long time ago. And when I bought it for $5, I thought it was going to be larger and it wasn't. And so I just carefully keep it right there. Okay. This is from, um, from Canva. I just did, I cut and put it on a page and printed it up. This is my mood board, which I also created in Canva. Let me see if I get, I can get a little closer for you guys. Make sure it's not blurry. All right. So real quick, I have the graduate school, which I just found out. I got to, into the program. I wrote chapter 53, and yes, this is supposed to be blurry. Um, I'm showing um, me trying to write some more. My word of the year, change, travel together. Um, I put one of my favorite pictures from Sedona. This is my puppy. This cool picture right here is, it's showing to your health, which I've been on a health journey um, since November, very safely. I've lost 20 pounds and my body is so much better for it. I'm not as in much pain. Now this was printed on um, vellum and then I laminated it because it kept curling up and I didn't want anything to happen to it. And I think the reason it curled up is because there's so much ink on it. The outside part is a design from Canva, but this is from Christina of Book Nook Prints. I will list her shop down below along with Doodle Witch. This is also from Book Nook. This is from Canva. This is from my friend Becca of Watch Becca Plans. And I'm not showing you anything behind here because this is all the top secret stuff that Lauren sent us for LA Florals. So I have it in the front and I clipped it like this so I know that in case I show the public my book that this, will, this information will stay safe. So on the back of this, these three um, 
designs were also by Becca. And I and I don't think this was, I think this happened after the fact that I put it in and it looks like it's rubbing off from the washi tape. So that's kind of not cool washi tape, but what can you do? All right, and this is also from Becca. It's the infinity sign she did for autism awareness. Thank you, Becca, for sharing that. Now this is from Book Nook Prints. Yet I put it in Canva, did a different background, and then I found a quote by Wednesday Adams from her show called, um, and the quote is, the only person who gets to torture my brother is me, with the piranhas. If you watch that show, you'll know. Now what I did is I didn't want these flimsing around. I didn't want to make tabs on these because maybe I don't want to use them as tabs. So what I did is I um, just clipped it to my tab. So I have the tab, it looks pretty, but the printable part is not committed to being a tab. On the back part, I just use the Canva, um, free Canva one, because I don't like blank back pages sometimes. This I cut out and then um, put a little sticky note tab on the top of it. So then I can go like this and then move it and use it where I need to use it. Let's see, maybe I need to use it. Okay, these two we're not going to show, but I'll go like that for that one. So anyways, this is also Becca's design. And then I created a um, posting list for me for Frolicking Brains and LA Florals. So I remember what to do. And then I have a weekly planner thing, which you'll get to see the blanks in just a second. This is from um, Book Nook, but this is from Canva. Again, that. So this is from Becca's. This was one of her um, little sticky notes, but I cut it out, put it on a dollar store magnet, covered the back with some paper, and voila, I have a fancy dancy bookmark. So this is I made in Canva so I can write down when I do the postings and everything to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for them. This is Canva. These I just shrunk down from book nook prints. Canva. This is one I created in Canva for myself so I would know what I'm supposed to do. And then I just did weeks and then the month. And then after I'm finished being a brand ambassador, I can also use this just for my creativity. So I wrote one through five and I have IG weekly posts, reels, daily stories, YouTube weekly communities like our posts and then YouTube videos. And then um, I don't know how I'm going to use these and then I can write in teeny tiny detail of what I'm supposed to do. And then I just printed it on front and back. I just used regular copying paper. For this because they're expendable. This is book nook prints. Yet once again, I put it in Canva, found another Wednesday Adam quote. It's not my fault. I cannot interpret your emotional Morse code. And as you can see, she's in a library reading a book. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing. All right, let's see. What do we have here? That's the back of it. This is just scrap paper from a Nietzsche that I never finished. So I cut it down so I can use it for quick lists. This is from Brandy Kincaid from one of her mailers. These are pages that I made for um, using the whimsy, the whimsy um, printable that's coming out this weekend. If you're watching this right now, the 20 and 21st is her launch. And I used my Procreate along with the Whimsy Printable and my sticker sheet. And this is what I created. Um, this is just from my stash. This is from a old um, studio calico or calico studio, a traveler's notebook I cut down to size. This is some more of the Whimsy printables. I just did a video on how I created these. I'll bookmark it here so you can go watch that video. 
And then I had some leftover Hobonichi that I never used. And so what I did is the, this was from a cousin. So I cut down each of the months, a blank page. And let me show you the rest of them. Okay, so then if I'm gonna use this to write things, I can then just put that page on and then all the papers behind it. I know, obviously I'm gonna date them, but you know, April. It's just a journaler thing. So we have all of that. This is from Booknut Prints, Canva, created on Canva. This is Booknut Prints. This is from um, Brandy Kincaid. This is from one of her emails. Um, she sometimes will give you a little printable to print out, and that's what I did. This is on vellum. Seeing it's not as much ink, so it didn't curl, so I left it alone. Okay. These um, are from Doodle Witch, from my stash. Got some of these when I was in Portland. This quote cards from Brandy Kincaid. Light Moon Makers. Um, Troublesome, Stu Troublesome Girl Studio. Tori, she does a lot of Star Trek theme items. This is from an old A5 thing. I just cut it down. This is my artwork. I laminated it. Um, this one was designed by my friend Talia. These are um, gifted to me. These are my own um, hand drawings. And I love the quote from Oscar Wilde. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. I did this originally in October, but I liked it so much I just kept it in there. And as you can tell, it's a little larger because this is the first thing I was doing and I didn't know the diameter. I mean, I'm sorry, the length that I was supposed to go, but lesson learned. These are more stickers that were gifted to me. This is an original um, photo that my husband took. So I just printed it out on vellum because I think it looks really cool on vellum. This is from Becca. This was gifted to me. This is from Mandy Ford. And then I just made this little pouch myself out of some scrap paper I had. This is an original design by myself. Um, this is a little thing I was doing um, so I could look at um, and remind me about me and my husband and where we came from. More stickers, watercolor cafe, that's from um, Mackinac Island. Um, from my stash, Brandy Kincaid. These are more that have been gifted to me. This is an original drawing. I just recently put up a video of me um, doing a watercolor in that book. If you want to see the original drawing, you can look at that video. Okay, so this one I labeled art. And then I found a old um, book that has watercolor paper with grids on it. So I, um, I cut it down. Be Instead of cutting exactly this size, I cut it down to this size so I get two pieces, two, two new pages out of one page. If I cut it down to this size, it, I would have wasted a lot of paper. So I thought that was pretty creative of me. This is Brandy, I'm sorry, Mandy Ford from one of her printables. I did it on vellum. Mandy Ford, when you purchase something, this is the card you get with your order. This is an original design of my own. Um, Coco, and then this sticker's by Mandy, I'm sorry, Brandy Kincaid. Then the rest of this is just me cutting down a traveler's notebook. As you can see, it's designed on one side and then grid on the other. What am I gonna do with them? I have no idea, but it just makes me happy looking at all these. So that's why I did that. And at the very back, I have a thing of stickers and a see-through thing and then some other cards in the back. And that's it. That is the updated flip-through of Emma. I'll see you in the next video.